The painting process reminds us to enjoy the journey. It reminds us to be more intimate with what we're creating. Like Spongebob says, you have to embrace the marble. You have to sniff the marble. And you also have to date the marble. For those who know. <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my painting process. So let's jump right in. I first start off brainstorming different ideas. Writing down the main subjects I'm going to be painting. And branching off to related ideas and thoughts about this. And then what I will do is I'll take one of those words and jump onto the computer and I will search words that relate. So now I'm just going through pixels. I like to use pixels because it has nice clear photos, nice free photos to use as well. And then what I do is I jump back to the sketch pad, maybe sketch up some just quick rough drafts and different ideas and different poses of my subject. And what this does is, is that it helps me get a general idea of something that I'm looking for. And what has helped me sort of create a theme for my paintings is to create a collection, whether it be on Pinterest, Pixels, or even my computer files. I'm also liking the idea of collage lately with my paintings, a mix between realism and collage, and also abstract in there. Now what I like to do is I like to take my laptop, put it right next to me for that reference photo, and then also just sketch up some thumbnails, some thumbnail ideas. And with this piece, I want to give a little bit more meaning. So I decided to add some scripture in there, and this will also allow me to play around with text for the collage part. And while I'm creating these thumbnails, I like to leave some room for different ideas to come in while I'm painting. So a lot of these things that you see, a lot of these elements you see in the thumbnails don't always make it to the final piece, and that's okay. The thumbnails are meant so you can get those ideas out, to see what works and to see what doesn't. Now it's time to jump onto the canvas. First, I use Windex to help me scrape this dirty palette off. I kind of enjoy scraping dry paint off the glass palette. Who else does? Now I'm going to go ahead and lay in that underpainting. And sometimes you mess up, but that's okay. You just start again. <laughs> I like to start off with a loose painting. This helps my paint to not be so tight and to not be so focused on the technical aspect of painting. And also sometimes I enjoy pre-mixing my colors. Sometimes as I'm painting, I'll mix them as I go. But this time I decided to pre-mix them. I also enjoy painting texture in the hair. There's a saying that goes something along the lines of, if everything's textured, nothing's textured. If everything's flat, nothing's flat. At least that's what I got from it. <laughs> now you probably already noticed, 
A lot of face is mostly painted. That's because my camera battery was low and I had to keep painting. <laughs> but don't worry, you'll see a lot more details. Painting details. And I gotta say I love these brushes. So the brushes that I'm using are Rosemary & Company Ivory Long Flat Brushes. The way that you can get the detail in there and still see these brush strokes is just amazing. I also enjoy mixing colors. Now it can be tough, it absolutely can be. I gotta learn more of that myself. Maybe get a color mixing book to learn more about that. But it's fun to start off with the primaries and learn your way up to being able to mix more colors from those primaries. I will also admit, I was having trouble here with the fabric. So later on, you'll see me scrap it. <laughs> What I found about while I was painting this was, I was, so that, the, the fabric she's wearing, is that not actually her clothes she's wearing? This is from a different photo reference. Uh, so, and this is me scrapping that fabric I was doing. I wasn't feeling it. But that's okay, you move on. But what I'm enjoying is taking different photo references, maybe the clothes and the face of a different photo reference, and combining those and getting your own painting, getting your own picture. One of my favorite parts is the background as well, creating those textures. Right here, you can see me using the palette knife for that. And so here's the finished piece. Enjoy. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you next time.